Some clouds beginning to move into the panhandle out ahead of this approaching strong and severe storm system. A very warm and moist flow coming in out of the south. It's a surge of moisture that's giving the ingredients for the severe weather. One of the other elements bringing the severe weather threat today is a strong mid and upper level winds. You see that there in the blue and those are those westerly winds with the southerly winds at the surface giving that spinning or twisting motion in the atmosphere. So as these storms march east, they are going to begin to spin and produce a fairly significant severe tornado threat later on today. In fact, you can see that wind shear just by looking at the clouds at the surface. Those clouds coming in out of the south, those mid and upper level clouds coming in from the west, and that just shows you a lot of shear in the atmosphere for these storms as they begin to develop later on this afternoon. It's a high risk for severe weather today, a relatively rare high risk that the Storm Prediction, Prediction Center issues. Now, the good news, though, is the storm system moves to the east. It will be weakening, but still a significant threat, a moderate threat for severe weather from Georgia through the Carolinas tomorrow. We're on the southern end of this threat for severe weather tomorrow evening. Now, a slight risk for severe weather, primarily over the Florida Panhandle and North Florida, but the Nature Coast, mainly northern Citrus County, could see some stronger storms as a line of showers and storms advances to the southeast tomorrow evening. Nothing to worry about today, though. We'll see sunny skies, temperatures peak near 80 to 83 degrees later on today. We'll see a few high clouds develop north, some patchy fog to start the day tomorrow. Watch as this cold front moves to the east, some severe storms out ahead of it, probably ongoing tomorrow morning. And then notice as that line of storms moves to the south and east, it will begin to weaken, actually become more fragmented as it approaches the nature coast. As we go into tomorrow evening, I think timing will likely be before 11 o'clock and then finding a lot of those showers moving out as we go into tomorrow night.